David, what was going through your mind when you got the ball uh, from three late in the shot clock? And can you just walk us through that play? Uh, I, I knew it was late in the shot clock. Oach called me up for a screen. Um, I picked him pop. And, you know, uh, I had some previous plays, and I kind of felt like I was already in the groove, and I just took the shot with confidence. How satisfying is it to hit one of those? Oh, it was very satisfying. Um, I was talking with my teammates, of course, and I told them once I left, it left my hands. Like I had the confidence, and I knew it was going in. I was already getting uh, getting back on defense. Hey, David, what what was the key for you turning things around in the second half? You had a big second half today. Um, to just flush the first half, you know, players have to have a short term memory and um, just capitalize on their good uh, their good plays and continue to help the team win. Um, you know, uh, there was a lot of bunnies that I may have missed in the first half, and I just have to forget about it, still play my game, and uh, continue to make strong moves. Dave, it was a, a pretty good start for you guys uh, in the second half with, with Dewan and Tyon out there. What did you like about that five and, and the way you guys started the second half? Uh, we just came out with the energy, with the spark. Tyon came out, um, played to his strengths. Uh, Juan did his thing, and it just kind of get us uh, got us into a groove early. Any idea why the first half was such an offensive struggle? Uh, both teams, as Ochai pointed out, but I mean, uh, it's pretty low scoring for, for any game, right? Oh, of course. Uh, it's probably one of the low scoring first half games I've ever been in. But, uh, you know, it was, it's just a little on a rim for both teams. And um, you just, once the ball started falling, things became easier, playing became easier. What'd you did like you, about your, oh, go ahead. Oh, did you feel like you all played tight in the first half? And if, if so, what contributed to that? Uh, I don't know if we played tight per se. I think some people um, were just kind of thinking too much or overthinking uh, when playing. We just told them relax, play the game, um, but still be turned up at the same time. And once we kind of got a, a well-balanced uh, mindset, everything came natural. What did you like about your defense in the first half as a team? Uh, you know, coach always talks about if you have a bad offense, make sure you make the other team play worse. And that's really what we did the first half. You know, shots weren't falling, but we made sure shots didn't fall for them as well. We made sure they uh, got rattled and turned the ball over or just uh, made bad plays. Was there ever any doubt when you look up and you only have about 11 points with three minutes left or five minutes left? Ever any doubt? Um, I think doubt definitely runs through every player's mind, but um, I per se don't focus on the doubt. We just focus uh, on being positive and encourage each teammate just saying, you know, forget about the score, play each possession, play each play. And uh, that's how you change the game around. Did you know that Tyon had that in him? Yeah, I always know Tyon had that in him. Uh, he played his strengths, played with energy, um, and we just encourage him to keep doing that and keep capitalizing on how we play tonight. David, I think you had four offensive rebounds in the second half. Uh, what led to that activity on the glass? Um, Coach saying I need to get more rebounds. <laughs> Honestly, just talking with Coach Rob, uh, be aggressive. Um, he also says energy finds the ball, trying to play with more energy. And uh, the ball just kind of fell in my lap sometimes. What, what was the talk at halftime like? Uh, did you guys focus on anything in particular? Or that was it, maybe? Um, I mean, that was just about it. You know, Coach talked about the lid being on the rim. But at the same time, we've been playing uh, – playing well defensively to continue to do that. And if we just play with energy, play with passion, play for each other, the offense end is going to come easy for us later in the game. How does it feel to get this win after the three-game losing streak? It feels great. You know, I know Marcus said earlier, beginning of a new season. So um, we're starting off 1-0, continue to capitalize on everything that we've learned, uh, applying it forward, and just still continue to grow as a team. How about the challenge ahead, Tennessee this weekend, short prep, all that stuff? Uh, you know much about them at all? Uh, I know they're, you know, athletic team, very defensively sound team. Um, so we're going to have to, you know, make plays. We're going to have to be defensively sound as well. Um, and we're just going to have to, like I said, build off of tonight, you know, short preparation, but 
that's what this game is. And uh, players produce regardless of short preparation or time to uh, scout. Is your knowledge that you just mentioned there, is that a lot from last year? Or or have you seen them play? Or do you remember uh, much from last year? I've uh, seen them play a little bit. And I um, just have a knowledge from last year as well. Do you like having a break in kind of in the middle of Big 12 play to just go play another team from another conference? Uh, I never really thought about it. I think that it is good um, just to kind of get away from the conference and conference play. But I think it gives you time to apply um, whatever uh, mentality or lineups that you need when entering a conference play again. Hey, Dave, that's your first three-point make as a Jayhawk. I'm sure you're aware of that. Have you ever been told red light, green light, yellow light? Has that ever come out of anybody's mind, what you have on that jumper? Uh, no, not really. You know, um, coach talked about it uh, a little bit just when we were playing in preseason. And I, I would shoot some in practice, shoot some in uh, pickup. And he was like, if it, it feels good and you're wide open, you can shoot it. Do you think that's green light or is that yellow light? Or how would you classify that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say yellow light for right now until I get, you know, <laughs> some more shots to fall. There you go. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you.